The BET Awards have officially arrived, and spoiler alert, some of your all-time favorite celebs have hit the carpet in style. Yep, they came to slay. Year after year, the BET Awards celebrate black excellence in music, television, movies, and even sports. But if you're anything like us, what you look forward to the most is, you guessed it, the fashion. When it comes to this year's red carpet looks, our favorite celebs were not playing around. And while it wasn't easy, we've managed to narrow it down to our top 10 favorite looks of the evening. Trust me, it wasn't easy. First on our list is Gronish actor Trevor Jackson, who decided to wear a fitted black suit and embellished from top to bottom with what appeared to be rainbow colored rhinestones. Considering the fact that it's currently Pride Month and Pride Parades have been happening all over the world for the last several weeks, this was an awesome way to show that he too wants equality for all. Trevor wasn't the only celebrity who hit the red carpet wearing the bride though. Janelle Monet also decided to stand with the LGBTQ community by wearing a gorgeous green sequin bustier top along with a completely mesmerizing rainbow skirt. I mean, just look at it. Isn't it amazing? Equally as amazing was Neo's casual yellow suit, which had super trendy red and blue stripes down the arms and legs. He dressed it down a bit, pairing it with a classic white tee and some Gucci sneakers, which really tied it all together. Not gonna lie, you guys, it was pretty much one of the coolest, most effortless looks to hit the carpet all night. Next on our list is none other than Miss Tyra Banks, who strutted onto the carpet wearing a sheer gold metallic jumpsuit and puffy statement sleeves and minimal makeup. But let's be real, when you're Tyra Banks, a ton of makeup definitely isn't necessary. Sticking with the sheer trend, the adorable Storm Reed from A Wrinkle in Time stepped onto the carpet serving intergalactic fierceness in a two-piece Reem Acre set that is out of this world. The partially sheer top and skirt were embellished with planet and star-shaped appliques, and to really complete the look, her hair looked amazing. Moving on from cute to simply epic, two chains hit the carpet wearing a Gucci suit that had the words extra written all over it. Well, actually it had the words Dapper Dan written across the back in gold letters, but you get the idea. The suit, which was covered top to bottom in one of Gucci's most classic patterns, was accessorized with Gucci sunglasses and lots of jewelry including one particular necklace that spelled out the word trap. Yep, you definitely brought it. And speaking of bringing it, Soraya lit up the entire carpet when she stepped out rocking a gold metallic two-piece gown by Alice Nicole. The gown included ruffles in all the right places, and she paired it with a wispy platinum blonde bob, you know, just in case the dress didn't look cool enough on its own. Equally as cool, but a lot more understated than Soraya's look was Normani Corday's black two-piece gown. Normani kept it simple in a black crop top with a matching flowy skirt, and we kind of love it. It. No, we do love her for it. Normani is first coming into her own as a solo artist, and this look showed off a more mature side of her than what we've seen in the past. She paired it with a sleek, straight hairstyle and fresh looking makeup, making this one of our favorite Normani fashion moments yet. Okay, you guys, we're not done quite yet. Keith Powers, who you may know from Famous in Love or Straight Outta Compton, took a bit more of a fashion risk, stepping onto the carpet and matching his girlfriend, Ryan Destiny. I have to admit that the writing over both of their outfits pretty much turned their looks into a work of art, am I right? Now we just have to decode everything it says and we'll be good to go. Before we wrap things up, last but certainly not least is Dear White People actress Logan Browning. Logan stepped onto the carpet wearing a white broad top paired with a matching white pencil skirt by Dion Lee. Clearly the skirt includes a little extra flowy material at the bottom, which we're loving, and considering the LA heat, we're gonna say this was both a fashion forward and extremely smart choice. So what do you guys think of this year's BET red carpet looks? Love them, hate them, as always. Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And then please click right over here to watch another breaking news story, and don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Thanks for watching Clever. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time.